In this problem, we are trying to figure out what is the perimeter of the shown object. To find the perimeter of any object is to find the distance all the way around that object. So we must find the distance of each side and add the length of those sides together. It is given that this side length is 6 inches and this side length right here is also 6 inches. This side length is not given, but we can clearly see that it is the same distance as this side length here on the bottom. So we are just going to go ahead and label this a distance of 6 inches. So far we have identified the length of three of our object sides. Because we have three sides that are 6 inches in length, we know that we have a total of 18 inches so far. Now we have to figure out what is the distance from this point following the arc in this direction all the way to this point here. We know that the distance all the way around a circle is called the circumference. So if we can calculate the circumference of this circle shown here and then cut that in half, that would give us the distance halfway around the circle. So what we are going to do is take pi and multiply that by the diameter which would give us the distance all the way around our circle but we are going to cut that in half because we only want to know the distance halfway around our circle. So we are going to substitute 3.14 in for pi and multiply that by the diameter of the shown circle. The distance or the diameter across this circle is 6 inches. Because the line segment right here is 6 inches and it is equal in length to the circle's diameter, the diameter of our circle is also 6 inches. So we are going to plug 6 in for the diameter in our equation and after multiplying 3.14 by 6 that would give us the distance all the way around the circle. But remember, we are going to divide by 2 because we only want to know the distance halfway around our circle. Notice that the 2 on the bottom and the 6 on the top can cancel with each other because they share a common factor. 2 can be divided into itself once and 2 can be divided into 6 three times. So by multiplying 3.14 by 3, that would give us the distance halfway around the circle. 3.14 times 3 is 9 and 42 hundredths inches. So now we know the distance from this point halfway around our circle to this point is 9.42 inches. And we have to add that to 18. So we are going to add 18 to 9 and 42 hundredths and that sum is going to give us the exact perimeter of the object shown. After adding these two values together we come up with a total of 27 and 42 hundredths inches and that is the perimeter of our object.